Hello everybody and welcome back to our Badgers SOS series on BadgerBeat.com. Rob Hernandez with you as we shift our focus on positions in need of help for the 2014 season to the running back position and have a chat with Corey Clement, the sophomore tailback who, coming off a banner year as a freshman for the Badgers, looks to move into that number two running back role. Now a year ago, Corey rushed 67 times for 555 yards and seven touchdowns, but it was that 8.2 yards per carry average that made him an effective number three running back for the Badgers. How will he handle the jump to number two? Who will replace him as the number three? Those are just a couple of the questions we asked Corey during media day at Camp Randall just a few days ago. Here's a little bit from our conversation with Corey Clement. Oh, everyone's uh, seen what the, the running back uh, uh, groups have done the last couple of years, and now you and Melvin a chance to be Mr. One and Mr. Two. How excited are you to be you know, th that tandem now and, uh, and sort of lead this team at that position? Oh, I'm thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to be a badge running back is always fun. Uh, you know, the fans are always looking for, you know, an explosive play out of me or Melvin. You know, this, this is what we strive for. This is what we live for, you know. To come to running back university as uh, Wisconsin, we know, you know, it's always a great feeling to come out here and play in front of these great fans. Now, talk to Melvin in Chicago. I mean, his role from going from the number two to the one or, or 1A to one, you know, changes a little bit in terms of yards per carry potentially. How does the whole role change for you going from three and getting there as much as you can to being number two and being in there a lot? Uh, you know, I just always have to be ready for the opportunity. Uh, three, you know, playing at the third back last year, I, I believe I was ready for, you know, the t when my number was called, you know, even though it was probably third quarter, late third quarter, early fourth, I always gave, you know, 100%, even though you know, it was kind of third defense or second defense, whatever you want to call it, but I believe I gave my uh, gave my all. You sure did, and, and I guess the one thing that the fans saw from you is that much like, you know, Melvin was different from James, you were different from both those guys. I guess how do you see the differences in what you bring to the field versus, say, what those guys brought to the field? I say they... Uh, you no, know, I, I can't really tell you what they brought to the field because they're their own player. You know, I believe they're they're both special athletes, and you can't really put a name on as to what they did to you know how they did it. You know, they, you know what they did is what they did. To be honest with you, and I just think you know what I bring to the table is something u unique as well. Melvin coming in last year was able to obviously, uh, you know, rush for over a thousand yards and, and and put himself in the conversation to be you know an, an NFL draft pick. Mm -hmm. For you, what's the goal out of that number two spot in terms of, you know, production, and, and in terms of what you what kind of back you want to be in that role? Uh, you know, some personal goals. Uh, you know, all, uh, um, just to really rush over a thousand yards. You know, possibly you know kind of get near thirteen hundred around there. Um, a, you always want to have a personal goal. You have something to strive for. Um, but I'm not really going to, you know, place a mark on as to what I'm supposed to do this season. I'm just going to do what I do. You know, whatever I get is what I get. You know, my, uh, my, my effort should match my, I mean, my outcome. How would you describe the battle to replace Corey Clement at the number three spot? <laughs> and uh, some of these freshmen we're hearing a lot about, what can we expect out of that group? I would just say top that. <laughs> 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 yeah, you you set the bar high, haven't you? Yeah, I, I believe you know. I I found the third role to be kind of you know a fun experience. Actually, you know, some people wanted to doubt me. Oh, he's a third string, but I you know I let them be full of themselves. You know, I believe any anything is possible. You know, you can be the third back, fourth back. You can still have a great production. Well, there were times last year, Corey, where, where people wanted to see on the field more. Yeah. Now they'll get their chance to see you as much as they can handle you. I guess that's got to be the exciting part. That, that is the exciting part. I actually want them to actually know who I am, what I can do, <laughs> and why I'm here. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. Corey, enjoy fall camp. Thank you. I appreciate it.